before we get into this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Sound around the stadium now and stand up for the champions. And when you see the way these boys are celebrating, you will know indeed who is the champion. But coach, I mean, look at the celebration on your players. Uh, bodies and I mean what a moment what does this mean for you yeah we work so hard this season for it and uh, yeah I think we deserve to win it we played good football and uh, I must give it to the boys for all season long uh, to get to the Super 6 and um, yeah the rest is history so I'm I very mean, happy I mean for you your journey as a coach for Aiden Bar just a few last year the people were saying maybe you were not the right man but talk about the, the management keeping you keeping you on. Yeah, I think they believed in me. Um, even if last season was not a success for us, but we play some good football, so they decided to, to let me have another season and uh, that's the result for you. <laughs> and in terms of winning the league, you know, adding this to your to your kitty, all that you've won in your career, how special is this one? Where does it rank? Yeah, this is special because um, um, I've done it here uh, in Nigeria. Um, this league is very difficult. We all know it. So I, personally, I would advise some of my colleagues to come back and uh, try to improve the league. So that's what I did, and uh, that's, that's that's the trophy I have for it. <laughs> and I know the trophy is massive, but in terms of that prize money of 100 million naira. I'm sure you were. Were you thinking about it to bring in 100 million naira into the club? I know that you helped to get that in. Yeah, no, actually, I was not thinking about the 100 million. I just, I knew the 100 million was there, but we had to work uh, towards getting it. And um, at the end of the day, we did it. So we're quite happy. The 100 million definitely goes to the club. Whatever that gets to us, we will accept it. So, coach, now I know today you celebrate. That's all you want to do now. I know. But it's my job to ask you some questions. Next up for you, the CAF Champions League. You know, I know we can't talk about it now, but just tell me, in terms of what you want, what are your dreams for that competition? Um, when the time comes, we'll prepare, <laughs> definitely. Uh by is a big name. Um, we cannot really uh, depend on uh, past um, history. We have to keep working to make sure that this team improves, you know, even next season. Coach, congratulations, thank, thank, well thank done. Thank you very much. Thank All right, you there much. you have it, the coach of Engimba. Now, this is actually a football legend, George Finidi. He did so many great things with the Super Eagles, and now he's done something great with his coach as well, for his team as well. But a coach that is also great as far as Nigerian football is concerned, he might, be the, he might not have won tonight, but this man right here knows what it means to be a winning coach. He's a legend of the sport as well. And coach, I just want you to know, to hear that you are a legend of the sport. The fact, even though you've been out now, but your pedigree, what you've achieved over the years is absolutely remarkable. But tell us what is going through your mind tonight. Well, um, I thank God I feel disappointed. But uh, at least before gallantly, actually we try to defend our title, but it was just a stroke of luck. You know, we came late in the game, the police and we had a lot of chances which we would have scored, which would have gone ahead. But unfortunately, we couldn't go, we couldn't convert our chances. So that's our, our pain. I mean, I watch all the games that you played, I watch all the other games, but I have to tell you that this game with Rivers and Engimba showed another level of Nigerian football. One, for me, it was a great, great advertisement for Nigerian football. In terms of, of the quality of the game that was played tonight, and what do you have to say to people about Nigerian football and why they should continue yeah, watching? In fact, it's very, very obvious. Nigerian football have come to stay. Everybody can, the whole world can see now that Nigerian football meets the, the standard over the world. I think uh, it's the same time people start recognizing our, you know, our, our, our efforts by putting in the league. And that is why we are clamoring that our league should be in the hotel. So that the whole world will be seeing it and people will attract, attract a lot of uh, people. You know, spectators will come, investors will come, investors will come in and that will make our league to grow. We are, we are doing very well. Okay. And then finally, coach, in terms of um, the positives that you can take from this match, what are the positives you can say? Surely there's something you need to say to your players and the effort they put in. Yeah, I want to commend, I want to commend the 
management of the team. An honorable commissioner, but it's a Christopher Green. He has done so well to motivate the team. You know, there's excellency. So I to speak to the boys. He has, uh, he has uh, motivated the team very well. And, uh, you know, all Finally, we couldn't get it. Well, that's always tomorrow. Um, last season we won it. This season we, we lost it by whiskers. I know that by next time we, have, we can win it again. It's just an effort that we need to put in. I think my players have done well. We have a team, and I, but I think next time we we'll do better. And like I said earlier, Coach, what you've done in Nigerian football is absolutely remarkable. We can't forgive that, forget that. So congratulations to you. What a good tournament you had now. And I hope you go back with that at the back of your mind and you yeah, did great. Thank you very much. Thank All right, there you have it. Everybody's running around here. Everybody's absolutely ecstatic. I can barely hear myself. And right behind me, you can see Finiti George being raised by his players. Ayimba have won the title for a record nine times. What a night it is. If you are not here, you definitely miss. But let's take a look at the table again.